Mike Galsworthy is the co-founder of Scientists for EU and Healthier in and a media commentator about the effects of Brexit on the scientific community in the United Kingdom. He is currently a visiting researcher at the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine and was previously Senior Research Associate in the Department of Applied Health Research, University College London Education Galsworthy gained his PhD in Behaviour Genetics from the King's College London in 2003. His doctoral supervisor was Robert Plowman. He reported that his first scientific publication received international press attention. Foreshadowing aspects of his media career, he said of the experience, I found that clearly explaining scientific results and aims to a lay audience was quite a challenge, but also very rewarding. Career Academia <laughs> 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 Galsworthy completed ten years of postdoctoral work in Switzerland and Slovenia, returning to London in June 2012 to take a position as Senior Research Associate at UCL. He is affiliated with the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine as a visiting researcher. His research interests include health services research, research mapping, and science policy of the EU. Topic: Politics. Since 2012, Galsworthy has been involved in initiatives in science policy and grassroots pro-EU activism. He works full-time for Scientists for EU. Galsworthy is an executive member of Scientists for Labour, a socialist society affiliated with the Labour Party. He drafted their policy plan, The Economic and Societal Need for Science, which was published in June 2014. <laughs> Scientists for EU Galsworthy advocated grassroots support for continued EU membership long before the announcement of the 2016 EU referendum. On 8 May 2015, the day after the UK general election 2015, Galsworthy co-founded Pro-European Union research advocacy group Scientists for EU with fellow scientist Rob Davidson. Galsworthy articulated two concerns that Scientists for EU aimed to address. First, a lack of clarity and cohesion within the community on EU benefits and Brexit risks, and, secondly, a lack of public understanding on the UK-EU relationship in science." His decision to found the organisation was driven by his reaction to the tone and content of the Brexit debate, which he described as a "...colossal, nationwide rejection of expert opinion," fostered by "...media." focused on the political soap opera, not the facts." As Programme Director of Scientists for EU, Galsworthy lobbied for EU membership across mainstream, scientific, and social media. Scientists for EU became a high-profile organization presenting the case for EU membership, largely due to Galsworthy's media presence. In March 2016, Galsworthy presented evidence on the impact of EU membership on UK science to the House of Lords Science and Technology Committee. Galsworthy answered questions about the balance between structural and competitive EU funding for science, the effectiveness of EU science collaborations, and the potential loss of influence over EU scientific regulations after Brexit. Commenting on the committee's report in April 2016, Galsworthy stated that the EU science programme offered «huge added value» to the UK and «the overwhelming balance of opinion is for remaining in». Following the referendum, Galsworthy's immediate priority was to document its impact on the UK science community. Hundreds of scientists contacted Galsworthy voicing concerns about the future of scientific research in the UK after Brexit, many saying they planned to leave the UK. For some, xenophobia was a significant concern. Galsworthy concluded, 
It is clear that the UK has overnight become less attractive as a place to do science. Galsworthy has continued to publicise the benefits of EU membership for Britain and the negative consequences of Brexit for science and healthcare, including uncertainty over immigration and funding, and the loss of influence over EU regulations and policy. Despite the referendum result, in Galsworthy's view, Scientists for EU has been successful in raising the profile of science in UK politics. In 2017 both Labour and Conservative election manifestos committed to raising the budget for research and development to 3% of GDP. In Galsworthy's view, "...this is a big step up from the general election of 2015 where science didn't feature. I think the referendum really helped push that onto the agenda." In August 2018, Scientists for EU highlighted to the media that, in the event of a no-deal Brexit, the UK would no longer be eligible for three of the EU's major funding programmes. According to Galsworthy, this would mean, "...losing over half a billion a year in high-value grants." In a profile in Nature, September 2018, Galsworthy said that Scientists for EU had changed its focus. Instead of representing the interests of British science in the Brexit negotiations, it was partnering with People's Vote to prevent Brexit altogether. The change was motivated by the diminishing window of time for negotiations and the increasing likelihood of a no deal. Brexit. On 20 March 2019, Galsworthy, amongst others, publicised a petition to revoke Article 50. In a televised interview the following day, with the petition having received 750,000 signatures, he expressed his view that Article 50 should be nuked from space. <laughs> Healthier in the EU Together with Rob Davidson and Martin McKee, Galsworthy co-founded Healthier in the EU, a grassroots organization making the health case for continued EU membership. Galsworthy and McKee co-authored an analysis of the effects of Brexit on the NHS, published in The Lancet, that predicted negative consequences for healthcare in Britain under every scenario. The paper was widely publicized in the mainstream press. Topic. Media Galsworthy appears as himself in the anti-Brexit documentary film Postcards from the 48% 2018. Topic. Political views Galsworthy is affiliated with the Labour Party. Galsworthy was dismayed by the anti intellectual tone and content of the Brexit debate but does not see this as a feature of the UK political landscape more generally. According to a profile in Der Standard, Galsworthy persistently seeks clarification and sees it as a central science mission in the era of fake news. Galsworthy opposes what he sees as the debasement of knowledge in populist politics. He has described President of the United States Donald Trump as a dictator in American caricature form. Equals equals filmography.